Jean-David Levit, thank you very much for being with WPC-TV. You are with the Brookings Institution in Washington, D.C., but I think you're best known as former French ambassador to the United Nations. You mentioned a new sort of Monroe Doctrine by Russia and China. Um, what do you mean by that? Well, we have built, after the Second World War, a system based on international law, the UN Charter, the peaceful settlement of uh, the peaceful settlement of disputes, and so on, uh, and cooperation. Cooperation means to work together to find solution to regional disputes. Uh, that's what we do. But it seems to me, maybe I'm wrong, but it seems to me that. Uh, two countries, uh, China uh, in Asia, Russia uh, in Europe, would like to see uh, the US and others out and uh, would like to see uh, their role recognized as kind of paramount to solve the problems of, of the region. Uh, of course, you heard uh, the Chinese ambassador Wu Jianmin say, no, no, not at all, uh, we want to cooperate, so it's a debate. Uh, I, I think it's fair to say that there is, it seems to me, the temptation uh, for uh, China to be recognized uh, as a kind of prominent actor uh, in the region, and the fact is that China has emerged as a giant uh, in uh, East Asia. It's a fact that there is a kind of regional integration around uh, China. And it's a fact that uh, there are problems. Uh, and for these tiny island problems, uh, China doesn't want to see outsiders interfere. So in a way, just as the Monroe Doctrine worked for the United States with the Western Hemisphere, the, the, the Americas, it, could it be inevitable for China, the sphere of influence, it's their backyard with uh, the Pacific Ocean, the South China Sea? Well, I've, that's my impression, maybe I'm wrong, but I think that, yes, China doesn't want to see the US uh, interfering in these disputes, they consider that it should be left to the regional actors, that is, for the Senkaku Tiaoyu to Japan and China, for South China Sea to the Philippines or Vietnam and China without. And uh, pivot US to Asia by the United States. And certainly pivot to Asia is not, it seems to me, uh, uh, an idea which is well received and welcomed uh, in, in Beijing. Of course, if you look at Russia, uh, it seems to me that it's even more true that uh, Russia wants to rebuild its paramount role in what was once uh, the Soviet Empire and before the Russian uh, Empire. Uh, and what we have seen in Georgia, what we see today in Ukraine, is an illustration of uh, this uh, dream of rebuilding the greatness of the Russian people and, uh, in a way, the, the Russian Empire as it was. Uh, and, of course, uh, the US is not welcomed <laughs> as an actor uh, in, in this region. So that's what I, I wanted to say by using this uh, image of a uh, new Monroe doctrine of the 21st century. Jean-David Levit, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much.